Hello again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Springhill, Florida at, Expre at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard with a strong desire to experiment. When do I not? And I have colors ready and an 11 by 14 inch canvas ready and glasses. <laughs> Woo! I'm styling. I got this paint here <laughs> that's a couple years old. I don't even know what's in it, but um, I want a base coat that isn't black or white. So when I use my gifted triple, I want to call them nipples, <laughs> triple tipped um, whatevers, I want a blue background to see what happens. Who knows what's in here, really and truly. I don't even want to touch that. That stuff is so strong, it stains everything it goes onto. So I think that's why I haven't used it. And I've got tweezers here, and they're good enough to pull out anything I see in there. And I'm just sort of checking the consistency of that, and I'm going to grab an OXO omelet turning spatula available on my Amazon link under Show More. I don't like this paint. It's lumpy. It looks like it's full of bubbles. This is really, really not happening, is it? Wow. That's some nasty stuff. I don't know. I, I'm going to decide that this is probably bad paint now. I did shake it up, but there isn't a marble in there. It's kind of a nice color, though. Maybe if I don't mind the bumps, <laughs> this is going to be different. Well, kind of makes me think maybe there was some glue in there. But I'm here now, and I'm making this video, so... I guess we'll find out together how bad this can be and anything. It's really very um, opaque. Well, opaque's the wrong word. It's, it's really very see-through. But uh, it shouldn't crack even if it's got glue and if it's super thin. I guess we'll find out. We've got to find out because it's fun <laughs> to play. And I started, so I'm going to finish, I guess. Just trying to make sure that I'm covered to my edges and the OXO omelet turning spatula, like I said, first first blue link under show more under the video will uh, let me see all the imperfections and there are plenty of them. I'm going to wipe that off totally and uh, I'm going to at least get that one big thing out. It just looks like con slightly congealed paint. But um, I'm definitely interested in finding out. I kind of wish I had white. But I'm going to go... That's black, although it doesn't look very black right at the moment. I should spin my turntable instead of... anything else. Now, I kind of want to um, play, and I was going to use this folk art, and I guess I am. This might be unrepeatable. And I'm probably going to tilt this, because I can. The name of my first book on the Amazon link, which is neither here nor there at the moment. But I'm just having a good time with colors. And uh, the paint in the background isn't as bad as I thought it was. It does make me want to go ahead and grab some Anita's white metallic just to give myself one more element as long as it'll come out. I just mixed this this morning. This should have no problem coming out. This is just fun. Nothing serious going on here, I can tell you now. Just fun. I want to see how it moves. And what I did last time was use the basting brush. And I could really do that again. But I'm just playing. I'll be lucky if I don't ruin it as I'm doing so. But I'm pretty lucky.
see if there's anything else I need. I kind of, if, if I had the bravery to use some of that blue again, I probably would do that. Just sort of putting marks down and filling in around. Maybe a lot more white than I expected. And I haven't started the basting brush process yet, so let's see what happens if I tip this. Probably nothing good. I think nothing good. <laughs> I kind of want to swipe and see what's going to happen. Let's do the basic brush first <laughs> and then we'll swipe. All in fun. I think you could probably, even though the blue is funky, you could probably still do something interesting with this process. I'm finally using my turntable the way it was intended to by spinning it. And this is, it's just pretty. I always think that the basting brush is just beautiful, just like a fork would be. It's pretty much the same difference. I haven't swiped. I don't know what a swipe would do at this point because that, that black background color is weird. It seems like it's not the worst thing in the world to go over the basting brush marks twice, but that could change pretty quickly. So I would be cautious about that. Well, I say that and then I'm not. So <laughs> do what you want. Because I'm just playing. And that's, I play so that you don't have to make the mistakes that I'm going to make. So what else do I want in there? I kind of want a little bit more of that purple a couple places. And I hope I can get away with it. Just add a little curve to my wrist. And I think the last thing I want is... Wow, I don't know what's on there. Yes, I do. I melted a hole in something so I could use it for an inversion cup earlier. So yeah, I'm going to just use my skewer. Am I? Anywhere else? <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't seem like it. And put a few spirals in there. Because I can. Hey, that's the name of my first book on the Amazon link. Under Show More, under the video. I've got another book there too on that Amazon link. It's called Unlimited Possibilities and it's the second hundred videos on YouTube. Okay, well, like I said, I'm not going to make any more excuses about playing because that's all I'm doing. I'm going to touch up my edges with either black or blue or that purple tomorrow. That's what I did with the other one. I'm going to torch really quickly. I don't know what difference that's going to make other than making sure that uh, there are no bubbles hanging around. I don't know how many times you can drag marks through but it's pretty cool how it works I really really do like the marks it's sort of like I, I imagine bakers are like I do that <laughs> like I've seen this on cakes so this is Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill Florida with another experiment that I don't hate for the fun of it that I think anybody can do sans the uh, nasty paint I started with which is barely showing and a nice accent color, which doesn't bother me a bit. The rest of my paint all has GAC 800 by Golden in it to keep it from cracking, so I'm not really too worried about that. I think it'll turn out great. And the gold I used was um, a gold I really didn't care for, so it wasn't going to be a waste. I sort of bought this huge jar of art mines before they went out of business of their gold, and I did not like the color. So this is a good experiment for me too because I'll be able to see how I feel about that tomorrow because I have quite a bit of it left. <laughs> Maybe I'll do the edges gold. That might be cool. All right, so I love you guys. There's almost 70, excuse me, there's almost 86,000 of you. Do I dare? No, I shouldn't dare. Well, I almost messed that up. Um, I'm not sure about these little marks along the edge either. They're kind of bugging me. But I have plenty of that paint, and I could dip a skewer in and go along the edge, and it would be all right. So that's kind of different. 
And the only thing I'm seeing that I don't like is this right here. And even though I torched, I'm still going to take a chance on fixing that. Where's some gold? Where's some anything? Um, <laughs> how about some white? All right, I'm going to pretend, and you're going to pretend that that was there all along. <laughs> so, not a problem. I love you guys. Uh, check for tomorrow's videos on the on my channel, uh, on the community board. And look on Facebook for Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group for students. Expressionist Art Studio Gallery totes and more for um, people who might want to see what I've been posting on Fine Art America since 2013. And... Um, Expressionist art studio gallery fans and collectors who are interested in finding out what I've edited so far so good on the uh, from the YouTube videos. Yeah, don't do that after you torch. <laughs> it's still cool and uh, it could be cooler with better paint maybe. But I love you guys and I will see you anon. Uh, there is a drawing every month. This month has 15 paintings in it. The winner gets to pick three. You can find the prizes or see them on the exhibition video on the end screens of any video and I know most people don't get this far so I'm gonna to have to start remembering to say this ahead of time please can I have a thumbs up and remember that when you share you help me out and when you watch the videos longer it's the only thing the YouTube algorithm understands that keeps me having any kind of good placement at all all right, you guys, take care. This is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard. Wishing I would zoom in sooner so the end screens don't pollute it. All right. Um, I don't know. It's not the most wonderful thing in the world, but it's not the worst thing either. And it gives me ideas about doing a dragon because I kind of see stuff like that all the time. I love you guys. Take care. Check out my Teespring under the video. Any bit of shopping you do in my name is a very big help to keep the studio rolling. Which reminds me, I'm sorry, um, I do sell my artwork and I give classes in the house at the house in Spring Hill, Florida. And you can find the email to contact me underneath the video. Bye for now. Priscilla out. See you soon. Hopefully. Maybe tomorrow. Hey, binge for me, would you?